What's up, people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to a lot of tearing whips. <laughs> you already know we're back in the garage. The messiest fucking garage. Don't mind it. Just see the beautiful car right here. So the hood is open because third is the day we're gonna be cleaning my lenses. You can already tell these things are gone bad. The car is 22 years old. You'd probably expect this. I know most people wouldn't really care unless you have an old car then you would care what you could do with these and how to clean it up well if you pay someone it's gonna cost you around like anywhere from hundred dollar to two hundred dollar just to clean this up so I'll tell you guys a few ways that you could clean them up yourself and it's pretty cheap I'm pretty sure you could find that stuff at your house alright so let's do the first way alright for the first step if you wanna clean these things up so the cheapest and the easiest way to, to clean these up or using your Colgate, your Colgate or whatever paste you guys use, they'll actually clean these up. I'll show you how. So you're gonna need this, some hot water. I don't really have a hot water, but I got water. I don't want to go heat it up. And paper towel, paste, paper towel, water. So what you're gonna do is get your paste. First thing we're gonna do is water the lights, get them a little wet, you know, wet, wet, and then put some paste on here. Get yourself a paper towel and then just clean it off. See, that'll do a little bit of good job, but it won't do the best because you're gonna have to grind it down. So that's the one way you clean them up. You're gonna do, it, you're gonna have to do it like every other week in order to get it cleaned. All right. So that was the first and easiest way to clean these up. You can tell they're already pretty, pretty clean, but still not there yet. This is before, uh, after, and this is before. You can tell it's a pretty big difference. I mean, it did do a job, but not the best job. Let's go to the second option and see what we can do. Alright, for the second option, you're going to use the Tilde D40. Most of the car guys should have these at their house. If not, you can go get it from AutoZone or whatever. So, obviously, get a paper towel, get the WD-40. You throw the WD-40 on the light. And you can already tell. Just wipe it off. Now that's clean. <laughs> that's very clean. Before, after. See, WD40 does a pretty good job. But if you got a E46, I've got an even better option for you guys. Now, if you got an E46, you go to Amazon, buy yourself the new lenses. They literally cost me like 30 to 50 dollars. I've already opened it, but let's do it for the YouTube. Now that's clean. It's gonna make a big difference. Let's swap these on. It's pretty easy. You got clips. Two hours later. Alright guys, this only took me like fucking two hours because this fucking clip doesn't want to come off 
and I decided to put fucking WD-40. My hands are dirty as fucking hell right now, just because I put fucking WD-40 before I had to take this lens out. Alright, so this thing has like one, two, three, and four, and then five clips. This clip is a fucking bitch. It's all it has been ever since I put halos in it. It's just been a bitch. Alright, so this thing, you're going to touch all that. So you got one, two, three, and you got one, two, and three. You just pull this up and it comes right out from those clips right here so yeah that's basically it you could you don't have to take it off you can most of people do is most what most of people do is they take these screws off and there's one screw right here I can just show you uh, I should be right here so right there right there you can see it that right there so there's three screws and you could just pull the whole light out so you don't gotta open up but yeah the, then you could just swap that and see a big difference between an older lens and a new lens i love e46 for to do that because most of the newer cars like that dodge you get a seal on the light you don't get to just clip it off and change the lens all right so i'm gonna swap this lens with that swap that lens out and then i'm gonna give you show you guys how it looks so these are three steps you can use you could use Colgate or water clean it off as they all clean up a little bit it won't do the best job but you could use a WD-40 that'll do a pretty good job but you're gonna have to do it like every other two weeks if not then just swap your lights or just swap the lens let's do it and let's see how it looks Alright guys, didn't really take that long, but that looks really nice. It was worth the $30-$50 dollars that I spent, because most of the time when you guys get these clean, these are so old, they're actually like 20, 22, 23 years old, because the car is like 2000, so 22 years old actually. But yeah, these are 22 years old, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to be the same forever. Even if you get them cleaned, they're going to get dirty in like another fucking 6 months. But if you get a brand new, they'll last you pretty long. So yeah, it was worth the $50 dollars that I spent. Here's the before. I'll show you the after. See, that's nice. Ha! Huh. This video, video was supposed to be like two minutes long, but it literally took like fucking thousand hours just to change those one lens. I'm actually working on most of the car. Uh, I'm actually working a lot more on car right now, but it's fucking hot in Cali and it's hard. Cause I'm sweating. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating. It's fucking hot. So it's hot in Cali, and it's kind of hard to work on the car when it's hot. Yeah. So this is it for this video. Now I'll be back with another part, car part, another vlog, probably next week. Peace.